Nope, not today. You probably don't have to wait for that imaginary perfect moment. The thing is, every day should be celebrated. Every day is important. Every stage is important. Have you ever done something you said you wouldn't? It's called breaking a promise or being open to rethink your beliefs. How did we get here? Exploring in a hundred series Lancusa again. Let me explain. I know I've said that I would not get another petty hundred series, especially as a toying rig, because they're just so bad on fuel. And guess what? We are at the servo about to fill up the belly before we head into the trail. <laughs> uh, except this time we don't have extended fuel tank so I have to use a jerrican. I haven't used jerrican possibly for the last three years or so. It's just so time consuming and costly on your mind. You always have to think about when you need the next fill up and where can you get it. Say like right now I've driven past 30k, past where my trailhead was supposed to be, just so I can get fuel before I head in and backtrack 30k to get into the mountains. Anyways, it is quite a light start. Once I get set up, we will catch up. I know this, it's been a while. Um, you can see my blondes growing out <laughs> and um, why this is this you know, what I said not to do, and it's happening again. So, yeah, let's get going first. Let me just grab a cold coffee, because it is really hot. At least the one thing that's familiar with me right now, other than the camping setup in the whole vehicle, is that the AC does not blow cold. So I'm just roasting and sweating inside. Uh, let's fill up and get going. Big mistake to get Starbucks Frappuccino instead of an ice cap from Tim Hortons. You're paying relatively maybe three times of the price, but it's not as cold. It's still so hot. AC is blurring, doing absolutely nothing. I'm sweating behind my back at the servo. There are multiple trucks there. Guys coming out, they were just shirtless. This is what you get for the first sunny day. People are not um, ready for it. And you probably don't know your AC is not working until when it's hot again. So here we go another round. Going to be a hot camp with no AC. I do have an AC refill video on this matter so that should be an easy fix now that I've experienced it. Feel free to give it a look. I'll put a link up here. Thinking back, I haven't been out alone since my accident a year and a half ago. I feel nervous. I should be nervous. But you know what? Nervousness shares the same physiological reaction as excitement. A raising heartbeat, heightened blood pressure, tensed up muscles. So it's up to ourselves to frame the emotion. Which one would you choose? Remember when I first bought this white Lancusa in a pinch due to the snow forecast? I promised myself this is just a commuter to get me around town. Back then, I had the Hilux on my mind as my primary touring vehicle of choice. Or so I thought. Can't say I kept my promise very well. In an effort to recover from the PTSD of snow driving, I did go for a trip with both vehicles. Obviously, I was driving a cruiser because that's what I was familiar with. That's what I was driving when I rode over. That's how you get up where you fell. <laughs> or so I thought. There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time. I tried to make the Harlux my home, like how I tried to build a family. I convinced myself so many things the right thing to do, or so I thought. There's no video on this trip. My journal entry reads, 
Perhaps I'd never find my groove if I only come out with someone but never solo. Solo was my groove, but now, laying in the rooftop tent, listening to the rain drop on the fabric, for the first time, I miss my bed at home. We're still seeing some snow melt on the ground. I guess this winter we got it colder than normal, but today it's uh, heating up a lot of the melts right now. I don't remember seeing snow this early on the last time I came, and the last time was around the same time of the year. So we definitely had a cold one. No! Oh no! Seems like there's a washout or something. Oh no! Everything seems quiet. Oh no! Oh no! I can't reach to my cute little spot. It was just not far down from this river there. Save the tears for another day, for another day Forget about the past, show me what you got Cause right now, it's all we have Two years ago, I found this little gem. This peaceful riverside was almost too romantic to be visited alone. I said I wish you were here. It would be a great healing location as my first return behind a wheel and to share with you again. If there's one thing I learned in the past two years, it's the melancholy of passing beauty. Good things don't last, it's such a cliché. A cliché is often used as a numbing cream on the scar of reality. But if you do want to know where that cute little spot is, if they ever rebuilt this at all, I share all of my trackings on Patreon. I will leave a link down below. I have all of my trackings even from Australia. Oh man, you can't even see where the bridge used to be. With disappointment, regret, and a frustrating multi-point turn, we backtrack to find another camp as it was getting pretty light. Uh, that looks like a big nope to me. Spring melts. When you see snow condition like this, you know you're not to attempt. There's nothing that you can grip on. Sink right in and you will just slide. Spring mallet is the worst kind. <laughs> there is a tiny spot that I saw early on the way. It's not close by to any river or lakes or anything, but at least it will settle for today. It's getting a little light. And I want to at least get settled for my first trip out bit of a pickle, <laughs> just like every time. It's not a type of leg, that's for sure. Yeah. Nope, not today. This is it. This is where we're staying today. Someone built a pretty Glamorous fart pit. Almost ceremonial looking with coals all around it. By now, you should know my pet peeves. I'm seeing shotgun shells not getting picked up, they're doing everywhere. Good thing I brought garbage bags. I feel pretty sad about that washout. There's so much good stuff behind that trial. 
And by the damage, the degree of it, I don't think there's going to be any fixes anytime soon. So that might be the end of it. It's gone. That's it. It's really sad. It almost reminds me of how Elta went out. The degree of damage is just too much to be fixed. And eventually you just abandon it. I'm just glad that I got to enjoy Got to check it out before it was gone. I didn't know when this happened. I, I haven't been around this area for quite a while. It is really sad. But yeah, speaking of, <laughs> I won't call this one Altar 2.0 because it is not. This is a pre-face lift, which means, well, the biggest difference is this is a four speed, whereas Alta the facelifted version 100 series, they have five speed. Significantly, I can feel a little power difference or maybe because this one is very ill maintained. I've already updated many of the mechanical component, all the bolt joints, steering, um, wheel bearing, valve cover leaks, all those neglected things from previous owners have been fixed, but I haven't done much upgrade because I didn't think about keeping this one. But as actually many of you have said in the comments, having that Hilux just doesn't feel quite right. Something just, it doesn't, it's just not right, you know. <laughs> Even though I tried very, very hard to like, like it, it's not my truck. It's not my spirit in it, if you know what I mean. The so-called car soul kind of Deal. So how everything came to be now is a bit of a story. Um, originally, I placed an order on a hybrid Tundra when Tundra just came out. And it arrived last year, summer. But at that time, I was still struggling with Hilux. There's still a lot of things to be done. And so I thought, oh, my attention, all of my energy was still on that truck and I haven't got enough out of that one, so maybe let's put this one aside. 20 minutes later, when I came back to my dealer, it was sold. It was that fast, everybody wants it. So I have to place another order again, but then it's going to be another half year of wait time. So by then I thought, okay, it may be next year spring, which is pretty much right now. So in spring, I thought, okay, Tundra might be here soon. Prepare the sales of the Hilux and the Hilux was gone, just like that. But I kept most of the things that are not vehicle specific that can be transferred into the truck. But from what I've heard from dealer is that Toyota haven't built any of my spec lately. And the thing how Toyota works is you don't place an order for them to build it for you. You basically place an order so you're on the waiting list. Toyota will build whatever they want to build. If any one of the unit matches your description, this one will get assigned to you, but they won't build one for you, if that makes sense. So they haven't built anything that's according to my spec in the recent time. And the soonest one they could get is, is a wrong color and that will be in the summer. So I'm suspecting my one won't come until way later. And summer, who wants to miss summer again? I already missed one summer. <laughs> and so I still got the jaws from the Hilux and I thought I could probably quickly throw it in there and make a sleeping platform. Since I sold basically everything that's vehicle specific from Ulta, I didn't get to really keep much 100 series parts here because I didn't think I would build one. If I did, I, it would be so easy. Everything would be just straight a transfer. And again, I wasn't thinking of keeping this one. If you recall from my video of introducing this guy, I bought it basically out of necessity because winter was coming, snow forecast was just a couple of days out and I needed a car to get me around. And Hilux was still out of the question. Found this one on Marketplace, fix it up, basically just been driving it. Commuter, a very bad on fuel commuter, but it worked. Now, once I start to have this little idea, it just day by day starts to take shape in my head. And I guess in the past couple of months, I've gotten a lot better with hands-on work. So making a platform was a lot easier this time around, especially with the experience of building a platform from Elta. 
Most of the time spent when building that first one was trying to figure out how I want it and now I know exactly what to do. Basically it's just a matter of measuring the degree again and then forming the paces and bolting them in. Except this time since I don't have the side wing kit, I'll have to trim the shape myself. That took a little bit more time but otherwise everything is similar. It's kind of sad that I never had a full walk around of Altar because I kept thinking, oh, this is not the final stage. I will film a setup video once I got everything ready, um, probably when I came back from the Arctic and obviously I didn't make it back that way. There was only one simple setup video that Gear Into Adventure did on me a couple years back. But since that video, I've gotten a lot more different upgrade, both mechanically and overland side of things, camping side of things. Anyways, so I thought, <laughs> You probably don't have to wait for that imaginary perfect moment. Especially in life, we always think about, oh, I gotta wait for when this happened, or when that happened. We're always waiting for that perfect moment. And it usually doesn't come. The thing is, every day should be celebrated. Every day is important. Every stage is important because they are the building blocks of your everyday life. And in essence, when you're saying, I'll do this when I get there, you're putting an end on that so if that's your destination what what about after what are you going to do after life is a constant progression and there is no finite point of okay i'm done here so even though the setup in this was done basically just within a week of time of after hours since hey i got a full-time job now it is simple but enough for a quite enjoyable camping trip. I will post a vehicle walk around in another video, since this one is getting too long for modern human's attention span. I also miss having an episode just for the trip itself. Minimum gear talk, just you and me doing what we do best. Why do I feel like this one is taller than Elta? Maybe Alta is just too overloaded, so it's lower. It sits slow because of load. Don't give up on me, babe. Did you forget what you said? My brain wondered if I still knew how to start a fire. Deep down in my heart, though, I had zero doubt. It's something I've done countless times. Perhaps not yet second nature, but definitely familiar. How could you forget the motion of swinging an axe anyways? I miss most of the shots I take, just like how I did before. And it feels like home. Hey. 